Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a mid month for my water signs. So I am going to start with my Cancers, go to my Pisces, and then my Scorpios. Yeah, I have to think about the order Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yes, so we're going to get some energy for Cancers first. I just want to shuffle up my cards a little bit. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Okay. Okay. So, please give me some energy for cancer. Tell me what's going on with cancer with this mid month. Okay. So, I see you heading out. <laughs> There's some conflict that you're like, no, I'm not going to deal with. Um, could be with an uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or this could be this this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius trying to head out from you because they feel like it's too much conflict with you. I feel like this is you trying to work on your stability and you're rushing into this person. But this person is running away from you. Why is this why is this Knight of Wands on their way out? Yeah, I feel like they were trying to manifest a relationship with you and that stressed them out. Now, why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, the Five of Swords is here is because I feel like you wanted to leave too. Wow. With the Hermit card, with the King of Sabbath, I think you decided to um go I feel like for you to gain control, you decided to go within and then things ended. Because you stopped speaking to this person. Now, with the why is the the, nine, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here? I just realized that this is a couple. So you guys probably were already in a relationship. Yeah, this person is trying to make a decision about you because they feel like you're sneaky. Yeah, it, because you're holding back. You're not speaking to them right now. Yeah, you're trying to find happiness. Could definitely be dealing with the Leo here, but you're like I. I have to gain some sense of control here, so I'm just not going to speak to you. But here you are taking on this Gemini um, energy and rushing in, or this could be an actual Gemini Libra Aquarius rushing in to speak to you, demanding some type of truth. Yeah, they feel like there's some secrets, and um, they definitely feel like there's a third party as the secret. But somehow, some way, with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, there's something stable that's going to be coming out of this. Spirit, give me some more energy about what exactly this Ace of Pentacles is. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, so I feel like out of one of your options, one of them is going to be coming forward and offering you something. But again, watch out for some deceptive, some deceptive energy with somebody who is not telling you the whole truth. Maybe this person already is in a relationship and if not, then they're trying to manipulate a situation to get you in a relationship. Yeah, because I think that you or this person was already juggling a situation, but someone already knew that. And with the queen of stats here, this person already was passionate about you and they were offering you a lot of love. But now they feel like they have to make a decision. All right, spirit, give me some energy on the uh, conclusion. What is the overall for this month? Oops. What is the overall for my cancers this month? Judgment. Okay, so I see I see you wanting to return to someone. You're actually wishing to go back to someone. You just want balance in the situation, though. And what is going to be the advice for my cancers? So I feel like you need to hold back from some uh, quick spike communication towards somebody that you have a two... Uh, um, two of cups you someone you have a soulmate tied to i feel like this person already isn't speaking to you anyway they're trying to remain single because they can't make a decision about you so even if you reconcile to try to move into calmer waters with this person it would be justice and you would get a relationship out of this but at the end of the day i do feel like you need to allow them oh you can't see this card this is the knight of stats but I feel like you still need to gain control of yourself before you try to offer this person some type of passion. Definitely need to focus on focus on work right now. All right, thank you, Cancer. So 
So the coins, the coins is important, okay? Cancer, right now, love is like not the strongest too, but if you focus on the coins, you might even find love there. I feel like there might be someone in your energy who already is on the same page as you, but you're not even paying that person any attention, and that's the person that's stable for you. That was intuitive, though. I didn't get that from the cards. All right, bye, Cancer. Hello, Pisces. Pisces, what's up? I know my Pisces friend, she is not talking to me right now. If she's watching this, I love you, but I did not feel like going. She came to get me and everything. I finally told her I wasn't opening my door. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, Cupcake. I love you. Okay, Spirit, please give me some energy for my Pisces, please. Energy for my Pisces. Okay, Pisces, so I see you stressing about trying to manifest something. And that's because um, Spirit says it's because you need to heal. You're, you don't you want to make a t decision, but you don't know how to move forward. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there might be someone else in the picture if you're focused on a relationship. And I feel like you don't need to wait anymore for whatever the situation is. You're trying to manifest, but there's some type of hold here. There's a hold on whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, because I feel like you're coming in to speak to this person. Because something your intuition is telling you that this person is holding back or there's something going on. But, yeah, this person is going to be, like, nonchalant. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, with the four of wands, this person could have already been in a relationship. One second, you guys. Okay, so this person could have already been in a relationship, and now you're needing the help. Wow! This person could have definitely already been in a relationship, and now you're needing the help from this. Um, why is the two of swords here? Yeah, because you're not speaking to this person, but you definitely need to block them. Yeah, this this uh, connection that you felt very strongly about left you feeling out in the cold and stuck. Okay. Spirit, please give me some, the outcome. The outcome for my Pisces. This was pretty cut and dry. Pisces, I see some, some secrets coming out. Maybe about a Capricorn to a Virgo that's going to leave you heartbroken. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah, with the Three of Swords to the Tower moment, this is definitely something that's going to shake up your world. And with the Ten of uh, Wands, it's going to be burdening. Yeah, because this person is offering someone else love and you at the same time with the Six of Cups here. What is your advice? Okay, baby. Move on. Move on. You'll find justice and happiness once you leave this past situation in the past. Because right now, this person is offering somebody else the emotions that they're supposed to be giving to you. Bye, Pisces. Happy healings. Okay. Who's next? Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on with my Scorpio gang? What's going on with my Scorpio gang? Scorpionic energy bust through. Scorpionic energy bust through. Scorpio bust through. All right, Scorpios. One shuffle for my other deck. Okay, y'all must not be feeling that person. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to move on to common waters with this person. Need to make a decision between maybe another lover. Um, I see you uh, moving forward or choosing this cancer. But I feel like the cancer is holding back. They're not really talking to you that much because they want balance in the situation. Yeah, this person feels like you're juggling. Yep, and they want the truth with the Queen of Swords here. They're about to cut you off. Tell me more. Yeah, ooh, I feel like you might have moved on with somebody else, and you, and this person intuitively knows that. Yep. I, ooh, Scorpio, these are both your cards. I see you maybe ending a situation uh, with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yeah, definitely. Someone's going to get cut out from the situation. 
um, the two of swords to the eight of pentacles, you um, to the seven of pentacles. You're sitting here looking at it like, did I? This person really wasn't investing, or whatever you invested in the situation, you don't feel like you got your investment back. So you're deciding to be single, or single from this person. Yeah, you're you're walking away, and you're at a crossroads right now about what you want to do. Yeah, uh, with this relationship. Yeah, you're waiting though. Yep, yeah, I feel like you're waiting for the uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Or this is you holding back your emotions. Yeah, you're sad because you feel like this person has been holding back from you. And you wanted to offer this other stable. Could have been a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I see this person work, focusing on themselves and work. Yeah, they might even have somebody else that they're rushing in and out to, too. With the, pe with the page of, um, I mean, the Knight of Wands to the Three of Pentacles. This person might have been dealing with other people as well. Yeah, they yeah, but this person was trying to offer you love now. But you now look at this person like they're toxic. Spirit, give me the outcome. Outcome for my Scorpio. I see you going in a hermit mode or coming out of hermit mode to speak to this person. But I really feel like however way it goes right now, you're kind of, you or this person, I really feel like this might be both of you. The both of you are overthinking the situation. But there's some communication that's going to come up. Let me just go into what, what, is, what kind of, what communication, what is this, Ada Susan? I mean, the Ada This person is going to tell you that um they want to start something new with you but they feel like you're blocked or you're guarded towards them yeah they're gonna they might even be secretly trying to get you pregnant they feel like this is the time to do it yeah you might not know that but this is what this person is planning to keep you with with the page of uh swords this is a thought that's coming in yeah because they want to be happy with you definitely could be dealing with the cancer here Okay, give me some advice for my Scorpio. Focus on your money. That's where your happiness lies at. Because this situation is going to keep you stuck and bound. Alright, bye you guys. Thank you.